A geological oddity is a creation of nature that looks unlike anything you've ever seen before. Is this mountain from an alien planet? Here are the 15 most spectacular geological oddities. Number 15. Singi de Babaraha. In short, Singi de Bamahara is easily one of the strangest sites in the world, located in the Malaki region of northwestern Madagascar. It's a 1,520 square kilometer plateau of karstic rocks, which were created thanks to rainwater eroding away at already existing limestone deposits. Looking like a forest made of rock, the area is also home to a number of endemic species located only in Madagascar, and thus is truly a unique place to visit. However, when you further consider that it's classed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it becomes clear that Singi de Bamara is worth adding to your bucket list. Number 14. Mount Thor As you would expect from a mountain named after the Norse god of lightning, Mount Thor is certainly one of the cooler additions on this list. Located in Canada's far north on Baffin Island, it holds the world record for the largest vertical drop in the world. That's because the west side of the mountain not only has an angle of less than 15 degrees from vertical, but also has a massive drop of 1,250 meters. As a result, despite being located in the middle of nowhere, Mount Thor has become a popular rock climbing site for adventure seekers from around the world. Number 13. The Great Sand Hills We think that you'd agree that the landscape of Canada's western prairies is pretty dull. That's because these prairies, which span much of the Canadian provinces of Manitoba, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, encompass an area of fertile farmland that is almost completely flat, with much of this land looking practically the same for kilometers on end. However, the Great Sand Hills, which are located near the town of Leader, Saskatchewan, are a stark break from the province's grassy landscape. Spanning across an area of about 1,900 square kilometers, the Great Sand Hills are essentially a massive expanse of sand dunes that are home to many species that would normally not be found in Saskatchewan, with the most notable being the Ord's kangaroo rat. Thus, if you ever find yourself in the area, you may want to take a detour and give these spectacular sand dunes a visit. Number 12. The Bufador de Pensacola Unsurprisingly, most of the entries on this list are not located within a city's limits, but rather in a protected location that are made with the purpose of limiting human contact. However, the Bufador de Pensacola completely blows this trend out of the water, as it is a blowhole that is located directly inside the Spanish town of Pensacola. Surrounded by a cluster of buildings within the medieval settlement, at times the sound of the blowhole can be heard through much of the town. And if the sea is particularly rough, a large column of water will often burst right out of the blowhole, shaking and wetting buildings that are nearby. Unsurprisingly, as a result of both this strange blowhole and Buffador de Pensacola's many other attractions, it's been a popular tourist destination for decades. Number 11. The Edge of the World While this name may seem a little dramatic, pictures from the edge of this amazing site make it seem like a pretty accurate title. Located in the desert near Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the edge of the world, which is officially named Jebel Farayan, is a massive cliff that marks an edge of the 1,000-kilometer-long Tuwek Escarpment in the middle of the desert. Dropping down about 300 meters into the desert, it truly is a sight to behold. And if you'd like to visit it yourself, you only need to drive about an hour and a half from Riyadh in order to reach it. Number 10. The Three Sisters Located in the Blue Mountains of New South Wales, Australia, the Three Sisters have captured the imagination of humanity for millennia. Nicknamed Mini, Wilma, and Gunadu, the Three Sisters are essentially three sandstone peaks that were formed via wind and rain that eroded them over time. However, according to the Aborigines of the area, they were made in a very different way. The story goes that there were once three sisters that were members of the Katoomba tribe, but against all odds, they fell in love with three men from the Nepean tribe. However, tribal laws stipulated that they could not marry each other, and thus these men decided to capture the three sisters, leading to a large tribal battle. A Katoomba shaman decided to turn the sisters into stone in order to protect them. And due to said shaman being killed in battle, he could not turn them back into their human form. As a result, the trio have stood frozen in their stone forms ever since. Number 9. The McMurdo Dry Valleys when you think of Antarctica, you probably think of snow, 
penguins and extremely frigid temperatures. And after all, with most of the continent sitting under 1.6 kilometers of ice, this is mostly true. However, the McMurdo Dry Valleys flipped this narrative due to them being almost completely ice and snow-free. Now, this 4,800 square kilometer area is the way it is primarily thanks to two physical and climatic controls that have shaped it into an extreme desert. The first are the 320 kilometer per hour catabatic winds that flow from the nearby mountains and across the plains. You see, due to these winds heating up as they pound towards the ground, they tend to evaporate any moisture in their wake causing this potential precipitation to instead be pushed out to sea. These killer catabatic winds are then amplified by the nearby mountains that occur before the dry valleys, as they are high enough to prevent any ice sheets from advancing to and then covering the area. As a result, this has caused McMurdo dry valleys to consist almost solely of naked bedrock scattered with loose gravel, officially making the area Antarctica's largest desert. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Siberian Traps Although Siberia is mostly known for being cold and inhospitable, about 250 million years ago it was certainly one of the hottest places to be. That's because it was during this time that for a period of about 2 million years, the Siberian Traps were made thanks to a massive volcanic eruption. Considered the largest in Earth's history, it's believed that the effects of this eruption may have single-handedly caused a mass extinction event, as it was around this time that 90% of Earth's life forms simply died out. However, despite this eruption having some pretty dark results, what it left us today is a massive 7 million kilometer square mass of volcanic rock. Known as the Siberian Traps, they have formed marvelous collections of rock that are absolutely massive. But beyond their beauty and size, what has really catapulted them to fame are their mineral deposits. That's because the area is chock full of nickel, copper, and palladium, and unsurprisingly, this has led to heavy mining in the area. In particular, the Norlisk Nickel Company has been the firm that has really used the Siberian traps to their advantage, as they're currently the largest nickel and palladium producer in the world. Number 7. Macquarie Island at first glance, Macquarie Island may not look like much, located about halfway between New Zealand and Antarctica. The area doesn't have any permanent human settlement on it, and it's instead primarily home to seals, albatrosses, and royal penguins. However, what makes Macquarie Island stand apart is that it's the only place in the world where the Earth's mantle lies above water. Now, for those of you who are unaware, the Earth's mantle is essentially the area that lies between the Earth's crust and core, and is generally only located below ground made thanks to an impact between the Indo-Australian and the Pacific Plates millions of years ago. Macquarie Island rose out of the Earth to the point of the mantle being exposed, and thus is extremely valuable to geologists wishing to study the stones within said mantle. However, if you'd like to visit Macquarie Island yourself, it definitely won't be easy. After all, due to its remote location, you'll have to pay big bucks to go with a designated tour group if you'd like to visit this magnificent site. Number 6. Pokaini Forest. If you one day plan on taking a trip over to western Latvia, then you may want to consider visiting Pokaini Forest. That's because despite being located in a rather mundane location, it has nonetheless become famous for having mysterious rock piles deposited around many of its trees. Now, explanations abound as to why these rocks are here. One of the most common and perhaps the most dull is that people place them here while clearing nearby trees for farming. However, due to the fact that they're in circular piles, many believe that this geological phenomenon is influenced by the supernatural. In particular, they believe that these stones have special powers, and that the forest is really either a healing center or an old pagan sanctuary. As a result, healers and mystics from around the world make the trek to Pukaini Forest, hoping to use it to boost their energetic charges. And while this all may sound strange to the average individual, we're sure that Latvia's tourism industry doesn't mind this increase in traffic. Number 5. The Fairy Chimneys While the fairy chimneys may look like something made by magical little creatures, you may be disappointed to learn that this is not the case. Instead, the fairy chimneys were formed when volcanic eruptions spewed ash over Turkey's Cappadocia's region millions of years ago and left behind a solidified material known as tuff. Eventually, this tuff was layered with a harder rock known as basalt and eventually erosion wore away at the tuff and basalt deposits to create a large array of natural pillars that are pockmarked with caves. 
Now, it didn't take long for humans in the region to take notice of these caves, and thus throughout the centuries they've seen a variety of different uses. Perhaps the most interesting came during the Roman Empire's persecution of the Christians. That's because these early Christians realized that the tuff inside the fairy chimneys could be easily excavated, and thus homes and churches were made within these pillars in order to hide from Roman authorities. It turns out that they're also a great hiding spot to shelter from invading armies, as locals continuously used the chimneys in order to evade invading Persians, Greeks, and Turks at various points in history. Yet above all, the site is today used primarily as a tourist attraction, as the chimneys have been given the honor of being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As a result, these fantastic fairy chimneys now receive visitors from around the world all year round. Number 4. The Shailin Forest Widely known as the Stone Forest, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the Shailin Forest looks something like that out of a fantasy movie. That's because although it may look like a forest frozen in stone, the site is actually a 300 square kilometer expanse of karst deposits. In short, karst deposits occur while soluble rocks such as limestone, dolomite, and gypsum are dissolved via erosion, with seismic activity, water, and wind being the main culprits. To top this off, it's estimated that the Shailin Forest is over 270 million years old, and its caves, waterfalls, ponds, and underground river have led to it being considered both a UNESCO heritage site and one of China's premier tourist attractions. Yet perhaps the most famous stone of them all within the Shailin Forest is the Ashima Stone. That's because legend has it that it was formed after a beautiful Sani girl by the name of Ashima ran into the forest and was turned into stone after being forbidden to marry the man she loved. Yet while this story is most likely fictional, what certainly isn't fictional is that to this day the local Sani people still go into the Shailin Forest every June 24th in order to participate in the annual Torch Festival. <laughs> Featuring many traditional performances such as wrestling, bullfighting, pole climbing, dragon playing, lion dancing, and the Ashi Moon Dance. These festivities certainly help make this stone cold forest light up right. Number 3. Sondum Cave When you think about a cave, dark, stony walls filled with water and bats are probably what come to mind. However, the Sondum Cave completely turns this assumption on its head. Sondum, which is located in central Vietnam and was first discovered just 30 years ago, hold the distinction of being the world's largest natural cave, having been formed out of limestone between 2 to 5 million years ago. Coming in at a height of about 200 meters, a width of about 150 meters, and a length of about 9 kilometers, this 1.6 million square meter cavern is absolutely massive. And while its size may be hard to picture, to put it into perspective, it could easily fit an entire New York City block inside, including skyscrapers, or have a Boeing 747 jet fly comfortably without its wings being in any danger. As such, it should come as no surprise that this cave is full of geological wonders, having stalagmites that often reach lengths of 70 meters and a 90-meter calcite barrier that has been coined as the Great Wall of Vietnam. Yet what really lands this cave on this list is not just these features, but the real-life jungles found within the cavern's depths. The cave is so large that it has its very own contained ecosystem, and due to millions of years of secluded evolution, it has its own endemic plants monkeys, flying foxes, frogs, insects, and hares that are found nowhere else in the world. As a result, this cave is one of the most biologically unique places in the world. However, if you'd like a tour, you may run into some difficulties. That's because excursions into the cave, which only began in 2009, are limited to just 1,000 per year. With the tour company Oxalis Adventures currently being the only tourism forum allowed to enter Sondung. Due to this monopoly, they charge about $3,000 just for one ticket, as they don't exactly have any competition. As such, if you'd like to visit this truly special cave, you better be willing to pay up. Number 2. Precariously Balanced Rocks Put simply, sometimes we humans find rocks in positions that we'd never expect to see them in. And be it a massive rock balancing atop a small one, or a rock being located in a position that is poised right over a cliff, these spectacular specimens are known as precariously balanced rocks, or PBRs for short. Now, PBRs are found throughout the globe, but there are some truly that are incredible. For example, in Colorado Springs, there's a 290 million year old red sandstone boulder, naturally perched on a slope ledge that is known as balanced rock. In Rukolahiti, Finland, there is a 7 meter long boulder that lies on a convex bedrock surface known as Kumavakivi, or strange stone. 
And in Goblin Valley State Park in Utah, there are thousands of hoodoos, which are mushroom-shaped rock pinnacles that are often several meters tall and are typically very oddly shaped. Yet while these freaks of nature may be fascinating to look at, it turns out that they have a lot of scientific value as well. That's because thanks to the laws of nature, eventually there will come a day that a PBR will fall down thanks to erosion, changes in the weight distribution, or due to an earthquake or other natural disaster. As a result, the fact that one exists at all tells a scientist that their location has not experienced a major disturbance event for as long as the rock formation has existed. This can then help scientists in determining other facts about the area's landscape. However, one pervading issue with PBRs is that it is often not nature, but humans that push them over. With many out there thinking that this is a form of entertainment, most don't realize the damage this has on the scientific community. As a result, although jail sentences can be imposed if people are caught doing it, people pushing over PBRs will likely continue to be a problem for the foreseeable future. Number 1. The Gates of Hell While most geological oddities are made naturally, the Gates of Hell, which goes by the official title of the Darvaza Gas Crater, stands alone for being the only site on this list that was man-made. While events surrounding its creation are a little hazy, it seems that this gas crater first got its start in 1971, when a group of Soviet geologists began surveying Turkmenistan's Karakum Desert in search of oil fields. It didn't take long for them to find what appeared to be a large oil field, and thus they soon began to drill. However, what they soon realized is that what they had found was not an oil field at all, but rather a cavernous natural gas deposit that could not support the weight of all the equipment on top of it. As a result, once drills began to be installed over the deposit, it didn't take long for the ground to collapse, creating a domino effect that resulted in several open craters by the time all was said and done. The largest of these craters was about 70 meters in diameter and 30 meters deep, and due to the collapse was profusely emitting methane into the air. This was a concern not only because methane is highly flammable, but it also displaces oxygen in the air, which could have easily killed off many of the villagers and animals in the Karakum Desert. As a result, the Soviet engineers in charge decided to torch the gas in the crater, hoping that these flames would burn out the natural gas within a few weeks. However, in the 49 years since, the fire in the crater has never subsided, and instead created what is now a massive fire pit. As a result, Turkmenistan's government has since tried to market it as a tourist attraction. However, due to it being located in the middle of a desert, they haven't exactly had all that much luck. That's all we have for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which geological oddity you thought was the craziest. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.